Hey guys, welcome to Money Machine again. My name remains Oriola Juan, and it's been a long while. I'm sorry for not posting, but here we go. I just want to talk about the movement from lighter glasses to lighter light. Um, the reason why I've not uploaded this video is because I have been waiting for um, a scenario, or a party scenario where I can show you some of the little skills from, you know, remote acts. But remote acts are lighter light. But unfortunately for me, up to today, I've not gotten a video. Uh, I've not gotten a scenario that I can use to show you everything that you needed to know about light and light. But anyway, I'm going to start off with the first problem, the reason why a lot of persons are trying to get acquainted to... Excuse me. A lot of people are get, trying to get acquainted to um, the light and light. You finish annotating the, um, the car and then you have something like the middle frame label um, you've not yet annotated the middle frame level and then you're trying to find out how do I get to do this so what you just need to do is to shift and enter on the middle frame when you're in frame 2 and you are finished annotating that has to do with Lama, Iris snapback and Iris project you just shift and enter shift and enter and it changes the keyboard from static to dynamic in um, in lighter light Every car you annotate is on a static mode that you need to make dynamic. And then when you go to when you press your Q, it automatically goes to automatically goes to quality assistant where you need to check um, your project. This is what you do. You need to check your tax before you submit. So when you see the red sign, when you see the red sign, it means that the error is that that cannot be overlooked. You must fix that error. And then that is where the middle frame error comes in, which you have to press shift and enter to fix. And then when you see the yellow, confirm that there is no error in your tax. And then when you confirm that there's no error in your tax, you can just, the place where you see the eyes or scene, just click on it and it automatically cancels. And then you can submit that particular project. And then one other thing that remote tax have added in this in um, in this uh, lighter light is the fact that you can undo and you can do you know move, even the movement of the keyboard can be undoable and be redoable so that's very beautiful then the last thing I want to say it's uh, the the um, what they call it the attributes when you look at remote tax in um, lighter classic where you can go and watch my video where I talked about using the ASWD to move around and um, rotation with the arrow keys. So, with the attribute, what you do is you, sh you press shift from one place to another and then you annotate those error. But, with lighter light, it is almost that you annotate every frame, except you do this. When you double click on an attribute and you fix an attribute to a certain we, for instance, changing lane, actively changing lanes. When you click actively changing lanes two times, it automatically set actively changing lanes for all the frames. From frame 1 to maybe frame 40 or to frame 300, whatever frame is going to be, it automatically changed to actively changing lanes. Then you have to go to frame 1. When you get to frame 1, if you change from active changing lane to um, staying on lane from frame 1, if you change it, then it's then going to change the whole frames, the attribute on the whole frames, down to the second to the last frame. It's going to change it to staying on lane, except for the last frame, which will remain actively changing lane. So what I do in my workflow is this. I put on the first attribute, the, the Either I go to the last attribute, the last frame, and annotate the last frame everything correctly, or I go to the first frame and double click everything according to the first frame. And then as I keep moving, I keep changing and I keep changing and I keep changing till the last frame. That will be better for you than going one after the other, each frame after each frame, to put in those attributes and it makes your work 
easy to do. And another thing um, they've added is the partial APC, partial aggregate point cloud. At the partial aggregate point cloud, you can change between two frames of aggregate point cloud to more than to about 10, 55 terabyte to make what you want to see easy to find. And lastly, the submit button is not no longer down. It is by the side. You go to the side and you click. And then one other thing I love about the um, LiDAR light is the fact that it saves your, your progress automatically as you progress, it continues to save. And then it has a file in your Chrome browser where those things saves. And then until you are ready to, you know, save to the server, and all of that very beautiful to use lighter light is very beautiful lastly people find it hard to create a keyboard on the lighter light compared to when they do it on lighter classic what you do is to find the width create the width from one point for instance from one point this is the front of the car here to the other side and then you drag down which is the length of the car then you build the height of the car or the depth of the car so that's how you're going to be annotating your keyboard using the lighter light anyway i'm going to be writing down some of these things in a book right now so that i can put out some of the things i cannot show you on video put them down and so that i can get them soon thank you for joining us today my name remains oriola juan i'm going to be posting more beautiful content if this is the first time of visiting this channel don't forget to subscribe like this video, comment your questions. You know me, I'm always there in the comment section to respond. See you soon.